Looking at your mat at this very early stage, you may notice that the mat looks a little bit wiggly. It's not quite straight yet. But as you move on, you'll notice that it will start to straighten out. Okay, so the stitch that we're gonna use to create our mat is called a half double stitch, which sounds kind of weird, but that's what they call it. In your dominant hand, you wanna hold your crochet hook nice and tight. In your other hand, you wanna hold onto both the yarn coming in and onto what's already been stitched. To begin this stitch, I'm gonna take the plarn coming in and I'm gonna wrap it around my crochet hook. Simply wrap around. And now using my crochet hook, I'm gonna dig in to that next stitch. So here's my stitch. I'm gonna use my hook and I'm gonna dig into it. So now if I pull that plarn down on my hook, you see I have three loops. One, two, three. I'm gonna wrap again here and pull just through the first loop. So I still have three loops here, but I pulled through just one. Last thing, we're gonna wrap again, but now we're gonna pull through all three. Okay, we're gonna practice this several times here. So again, I wrap my plarn around my hook, dig in, find my first stitch. So I have one, two, three loops. I'm gonna wrap again and pull through one loop. So I have one, two, three. Wrap again and pull through all three. It's important to keep your stitches fairly loose here. Don't pull too tight because if you do, when you move on to your next few rows, it'll be really hard for your crochet hook to dig into that next stitch. Try to be consistent as possible. Okay, let's do it again. We wrap, we dig, we wrap again, pull through once, wrap again, pull through all three. It'll take a little while for your hands to get used to it, but once you get going, it'll become second nature to you. If you ever have the issue of getting your crochet hook through all three loops, it may be because it's a little bit too tight. So in this case, I would just use your fingers, help it through, and then keep going. Once you get to the end of your row of stitches, it's important to do one last step before moving on to the next row. So finish up your half double stitch at the very end, and then what we're gonna do here is add a single stitch. Okay, before we move on, you can do a single stitch where you simply wrap around once, and pull through. What this does is it enables us to create a nice rectangle. If we don't, those stitches would eventually start to taper inward and we'd have more of a triangle shape rather than a nice rectangle shape for our sleeping mat. So always make sure you do an extra single stitch at the very end of your row and then continue on with your half double stitches. <laughs> 